back in business. So it's time to start off this fall winter season and I'm gonna start with a new thing that I have never done. I'm gonna build some figures and a cannon and I'm gonna paint them. Uh, so it's this little small kit. You can maybe see I bought it from a guy in Japan. His name is Jeff Shoes Miniatures. Uh, I earlier told you that the scale was 112, but the scale is 116. So, but the figures are 120 millimeters high, so they are quite big. So, let's open up this box and see what's inside. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. Okay. So let's start with this box. The kit comes with two boxes. I have one that looks empty and one that has this sticker on it. Plastic, plastic for the bin. And here we have the figures. Wow. Three figures. Four, five, six. So it's a total of six figures in this box. And let's check out one figure. This one looks angry, so we should take a look at him. So this is resin figures, needs some cutting, but the details are really, really awesome. Wow. There's a lot of things to paint on these figures. I have never painted figures like this before, so that's going to be a challenge. Looks awesome. Wow. Let's take a look at another one. If we have some interesting ones. Oh, the face, the face here. The face looks different on each figure. But they're almost the same. So, they look fantastic. Let's open the other box. So here we have a small cannon. So this looks like a regular kit. Or is it re oh it's resin as well. So it's the German 7.5 centimeters light infantry gun. So let's start to build this puppy and see how it turns out. So I have started to build this little puppy. I started with the, the German 7.5 cm light infantry gun. It is made by Kirin. It's an all resin kit. And uh, there were tons of parts to clean here. So I have some parts here that I should just glue. And here are the rest. So you can see there's tons of pieces and the uh, Casting and molding of these parts is really, really fantastic. Uh, it's really hard to imagine that you can cast resin so thin as, for example, this shield is. 
It's really, really a gorgeous model, but it takes plenty of time. And uh, I think I just spent three or four hours cutting all the pieces away from the, do you call it steam? No, stem, steam, stem. And you have to sand all the things and you have to check that there's no resin left. For example, this wheel, the spokes were all covered between the spokes uh, of thin layers of resin, so I had to cut them out. But anyway, it's a fantastic mold and they have done a great work, whoever did this little model. So here we are now, I have the cannon mounted. I have the framework done and I actually uh, managed to break it apart because the th pieces are so thin in the back end here so I had to put some putty on it so I'm gonna sand it down and uh, after that I'm gonna mount these pieces and then continue with the rest so this is the beginning of the build anyway and uh, excuse me for my ugly plate I'm having here for collecting all my pieces but it it does its job so next up will be to mount some wheels and things and I will keep you updated okay so I have continued to build this resin kit I started with a cannon and as you can see here are the instructions, we have all the parts and here we have the final assembly and this is the instructions. We have some very odd pictures here where we can't see actually nothing and then we have this part, this part, this part and this part and this part and this part and that's what the instructions said so it's it's not easy to build this little cannon, but I'm doing some progress. And here is the result right now. I just added those bars here in the back. And uh, this part, this lever here and the cylinder or what it is, it was too short so I had to uh, extend it with a little piece of plastic rod there but I don't think that will affect the final result and you can see there are a lot of parts here but it's for a resin model I think it's really really good but there's a lot of sanding and there's a lot of cleaning and instructions are not like Tamiya so but this is how it looks now and then we could put on the wheels on the cannon like this so here we have it now oh, I lost one so it looks like this and then we have these parts left but uh, let's continue the build and uh, when this, this is done I'm gonna start doing the figures okay over and out so I went ahead a little bit and uh, it's all completed and glued together and I've just primed it and I primed it with Mr. Surfers 1000. It's a great primer. And this little piece was not that easy to put together since it's a lot of uh, dry fitting and it was a hard build actually. And I had big problems with this front shield because the resin part on this left side uh, they are slightly bent but I guess it's a war damage so I'm not gonna take care of that 
Other from that, it's ready to be painted in Panzer Grau. It's a greyish color. And uh, after that is done, I'm gonna start uh, put the figures together and start painting them. But it's uh, actually a nice little cannon. Finally, all the figures are cut and glued together, and uh, the cannon is done. Uh, I got the base color on the cannon, so now it's time to paint some details and weather it down. I put it there, and the figures are almost done. They look like this, for example. Looks angry. They're really nice. So I just put some putty on them and uh, it's time to prime them up and paint all the small accessories. For example, this gun need to be painted and all the canisters and I don't know what this is. This is maybe for food. This looks like a shovel, it needs some cleaning. So there's a lot of parts for each figure. The only one that didn't have so much things was this one. It just had this madras in the back here. And this one is carrying gun boxes in both his hands. They look really scary, but I guess they will look fine when we paint them. So it's going to be fun to paint those. Uh, so the next episode will be more about painting and then putting everything on a base plate to display this as a diorama. Stay safe. Peace out.